live in a sad age. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the end times right now. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm not talking about the little Debbie snacks that now a dollar that could be now a dollar twenty-five. Even though that's an outrage already, there's something a bit worse than that. That Best Buy is ending physical copies in 2024. Now, mind you, my myself and my brother, who's traditionally one on one, -on -one shout-outs to him. Give it, give. It, Please subscribe to this channel. I always buy physical stuff, whether it's DVDs, Blu-rays, or anything like that. Especially steel books. From Metroid, from Metroid Prime to Pro Mare, which I still have autographed signed by Johnny on Bosch and Steve Bloom. Two legends. And hopefully I'm going to get it signed by everybody else. Rest in peace, Billy. And till this day, even though it's going to end, Amazon will still... Hopefully we'll still have it and people are just going to buy it off of Amazon. No lie. As for me, not only will I still buy physical games, movies, anime, whatever, but I will go. But if they say it will cost $10 more, I will pay $10 more just to get it physically in my possessions. Because for not only for myself. But for other physical collectors out there, including my, including my brother, including Jan Invasion, including a bunch of other people who have it in their possession, who will most likely get an autograph signed by celebs and stuff, stuff like that, or just to keep it in their own possession. Why are you guys doing this for? I don't know what, but in it, but. When they said, why are they doing this for? But at the same time, I'm totally not surprised it's going to this route because we are, they say they're going on the digital route and the fact that people have been stealing, going to stores to steal movies, steal video games, steal DVDs. So they, so I'm guessing in my head that they're going to go to the digital route because there ain't no way you're going to steal something that's digital. Till this day, I'm still gonna get games that are physical. If I had to pay ten dollars more, like I said before, so be it. If anything, more people, I guarantee, more people are gonna buy physical media these days than what they're used to, because some people don't really trust that the films, shows, animes will stay on digital. Like for example, on ne on Netflix, they say they're not gonna keep this certain movie show. They're not gonna keep it there for life. It's gonna go. It's gonna disappear. And not only that, there are people who, like myself, who not only want to get like the, the movie, just to watch the movie. There are some people who like to see like the, the like they say the director's cut or seeing how it's been made or anything like that. It, interviews like they have some special stuff that we would kind of we would kind of like to see. Throughout the throughout the end of it, and I was still, and I will. And here's the crazy part, though. I said I'm gonna pay if it's ten dollars more to do a physical, so be it. I guarantee you, streaming services right now. I will. Ref, I will not pay more than a couple of streaming services, than those permanent fixtures, but because guarantee. Netflix is going to be raising their prices. Disney Plus is going to raise their prices. Hulu is going to raise their price. Everything is going to go up. And the crazy other part, this is not going to be permanent. Those those shows, those movies are not going to be permanent. And like I said, this is a sad time right here. And it's... But in the end, I'm not really surprised because people are, have been, like I said before, people have been stealing stuff. People have been doing just everything. And and, I was, and for people who say, oh, this is good news. This is good news. 
I know it is convenient. I know it's convenient. But my opinion, the moment you go back into your digital library just to find out something that you personally purchased, you purchased, is not a. Av- what will happen if it's not available no more? Or it's or it's removed due to copyright from a certain other company. You may want to change your mind, ladies and gentlemen, because because it happens to because it's happening right now. You don't even own the stuff you own because companies have their licensing rights. They have their own digital content. So basically, that's basically it. And I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, if there's no more physical games, no more movies, no more physical animes, because mind you, I like having steel books because I have a few of them. I like having collector's editions the i will say this the moment they stop doing physical games i'm done being a gamer i will be done being a gamer because i will refuse to do any digital stuff I, I i will be done i will just do everything else i will keep my old stuff and i'm gonna keep it that way and that's just and that's that's how i feel about it because this is Seriously messed up, cause it, cause the India, we everybody's gonna miss the old days about this, and it's really sad, really. It's really sad for us people who like to collect these movies, cause we ain't gonna, cause it might not be online like I said before, but it's, this is just a sad time, a real sad time. But yeah, that's part of the that's one of the news update and a small little update. We have news of Final Fantasy 7 that Vincent Valentine won't be voiced by the legendary Steve Bloom, but instead we got Matt we got Matt Mercer who was also a legend in voice acting. And I'm at first I was bummed because I love Steve Bloom as Vincent. He did excellent as Vincent, but I'm going to sp- I want to give Matthew Mercer Chan because he's he's great as well because he did McCree from Overwatch and he did a bunch of other roles that really stand out so I'm going to give him a chance because he's also really good too and he's very popular I'm going to give him a chance because like I said he's very, he's very big and I like and I love the roles that he does I will see, I will see how he does in New Final Fantasy when it comes out in the month of February but yeah, this is basically this, this is the news up, kind of a small news update. Um, both of them that that happened this week. One of them was that happened today. This is Power Trick signing off. I'm hoping to do a podcast one day when I get a microphone. And for people who watch this video, please subscribe to my to this channel so that we, we could continue get the content going. See you guys in the future.